Vic VP here. Check it out. We have a Marvel vs. Capcom 32 inch two player 10,000 games Pandora box build Slimline V2. Let's enter that coin. If you're looking for an arcade build that is convenient, super simple, super easy for younger kids to just kind of plug in and go, I always recommend a Pandora's box. Yes, 10,000 games Pandora's box. Granted, obviously there are several duplicates. If you're looking to relive childhood, bring some nostalgia, and you want something quick, easy, plug and play, simple user interface, I always recommend a Pandora's box. A couple of pros, it does have a nice search function. If you're looking for a specific game, Alter Beast, Pac-Man, you can go ahead, type in with this digital keyboard and look for your game. Or there's even a recent category list that will show you 10 games that you recently played. A couple of cons though, this won't play any newer style games. You're not gonna get Street Fighter 6 on this, Street Fighter 5. Again, try to keep it classic, keep it retro. I would say anything previously before N64, you will most likely find it on a Pandora's box. NBA Jam, Killer Instinct, Marvel vs. Capcom 2 though, depending on which Pandora box you get, it may or may not be there. On this one, it does have a marketplace I'm gonna take a look if we can find Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on this. Now, as you can see, this does have a marketplace on. It even has a recently added games list. We even have some GTA, but I found it. We found Cartoon Hero vs. Capcom 2. This, though, is for the Sega Dreamcast. Let's download it. Let's see how it plays. While we wait for the game to download, let's talk about the cabinet itself. Again, this is a 32 inch screen. Everything turns on once you give it power. It's also on casters. Also, I put true arcade hardware, Zuzu have buttons, joysticks, dedicated four-way custom cut coin and star buttons. Can't forget. It is also LED'd out. With the casters on, you even have underglow at the bottom of the cabinet. Again, the 32 inch slimline two player arcade cab. Game downloaded, got my convenient volume rocker switch here. So we'll press start. Again, keep in mind, this is the Dreamcast version. So arcade button layout style may be different. Gonna take you for a ride. So honestly, not too bad for Sega Dreamcast emulation. Count it up. MVC2 on the Pandora box runs decently. Just got to get used to the buttons. Well, there you have it. Again, 10,000 games, Pandora box, 18S Pro, the new Curve V2 with the casters, two-player arcade setup with dedicated four-way. It is a thing of beauty, but... It looks like my credit is up. Game over.